Today I'm going to show you guys my Technomancer build that does crazy amounts of damage and we're going to start right now. What's up guys, Reckless here, welcome back to another video. Today, I'm gonna show you guys the Technomancer build that I have been messing around with for a while that does an insane amount of damage. And if you guys wanna see more Outriders content in the form of class builds, legendary farming, official and fan-made lore, news, updates, and more, be sure to subscribe down below and turn on notifications so you never miss out on any videos. Okay, so I will be going over my skills, the inventory, and my class in this video and showing you guys gameplay in the background as we go along. I have been trying to perfect this build for a while now and it has been a very difficult task to say the least because the Technomancer can play many different roles. However, the role that I like the most is the DPS role. When I am doing expeditions either solo or two-manning them, but if I'm in a group of three, I will play more of the support role. This video will focus completely on that DPS role. First off, we're going to start with the skills. I am running Blighted Rounds, Blighted Turret, as well as Scrapnel. For the inventory, I am running the Earthborn Renegades Assault Rifle. Now, as of right now, the tactical variant of Assault Rifles is the strongest Assault Rifle or the strongest weapon in the game currently to date, which is why the tactical variation of Assault Rifles is the meta. This one specifically rolled with a 95.4 thousand firepower. It has crit damage, status power, as well as long range damage. As for the mods I'm using on it, it's Bone Shrapnel as well as Dark Sacrifice. Now, Bone Shrapnel has been around for a while, and so has Dark Sacrifice, but not a lot of people has been using Dark Sacrifice. And shout out to my boy Leon for actually telling me this a couple of days to actually start using this. So, Dark Sacrifice. It reads, during combat, your weapon drains up to 50% of your max health in exchange for 75% weapon damage bonus. At first, I did not like this mod because I kept dying and I had no way to stay alive. But that all actually changed and i'll get into that in just a second the next weapon we will be using is damascus offering now this is a light machine gun with 86.6 thousand firepower it has crit damage status power as well as skills life leech it comes with claymore turret which is shots damage for enemies within six meter radius with anomaly blades dealing x amount of damage and then I also put Dark Sacrifice on this as well. Now, when I am doing expeditions and I run with three people, I actually use the LMG over the assault rifle just for the simple fact of the LMG does more sustained damage over time, but only because the third person expeditions actually scales towards three people. So it takes a lot more to kill an enemy than it does when you're doing it, whether it's a two people or you're doing it solo. As for my sidearm, this just happens to be a sidearm that has high firepower. I haven't messed with it at all. It's just there. As for the gear, all my gear has bonus firepower, close range damage and long range damage. For my helmet, this has sharp eye and mitigation from death. For my upper armor, this has Captain Hunter and Radical Therapy. My lower armor has Euthanizer and Perseverance Shield. Perseverance Shield is the reason why I am actually using the, oh, excuse me, the Dark Sacrifice. That actually helps me stay alive a lot. Perseverance Shield reads, receive 8,875 points of shield whenever your health drops below 30%. This is a lifesaver when you are soloing uh, CT 15, CT 14, whatever. This helps so much and I love it. Next, we have um, for our gloves, Bloodlust and Dum Dum Bullets. And then lastly, for our boots, we have More Traps and Toxic Lead. Now, I'm gonna get into why I'm uh, running More Traps um, versus any other mod. But if you did want to switch out this mod for a different one, you can. But my build focuses heavily on keeping up that DPS with um, Scrapnel. And we're gonna go over that right now. So this is the tree. Go ahead and copy it if you would like, or change any mods on it that you, oh, I'm sorry, change any 
of the nodes on the tree if you would like. Now, the one thing we want to look at is cannonade, which activating ordnance skills increase weapon damage for you and your allies by 30% for 10 seconds. Now, I'm going to say this and I want you to hear me out real good. Cannonade does not stack. I'll say it again. Cannonade does not stack. So, what is the purpose of having two scrapnels? Well, as soon as you actually use scrapnel the first time, it's going to have a very long cooldown before you can use it again, which is why I put two grenades on my character so I can use it, get that 30% for me and my allies, as well as as soon as that 10 seconds over, I can use it again in order to keep that 30% damage up. Instead of using more traps, you can go ahead and use different mods like critical analysis or crit stack or whatever other mods that you wanted to use. But in order to actually keep that extra 30% uh, damage for you and your allies having two of the scrapnel grenades is beautiful and then we also are using uh, assault master which increases your assault weapon damage by 20 percent then two sides of the power which increase damage received from all sources by 15 percent and dealt by 20 percent and then the last ones we ha have are ut14 clips which increase magazine size by 50 percent and yes this does work for all weapons it's not just anything specific and then last but not least we have empowering antenna which activating decay increases weapon damage for you and your allies by 40 percent for 10 seconds so while actually in expeditions i love to solo them because i can get through it a lot more faster than having other people with me and as i said earlier perseverance shield definitely helps keep me alive a lot especially when using dark sacrifice this build does tons and tons of damage. However, it would do a lot more damage if I can actually hit my crits. But <laughs> given that I wear glasses and I technically don't like wearing glasses while I'm playing video games, it's kind of hard to see the heads. So that is the build in its entirety. Let me know how you guys like the build and if it helps you guys solo expeditions or not. Now, I do want to go ahead and try to get a different light machine gun that is going to help out a lot more but right now the mask is offering is what i'm going to be using and if i can get a one that's rolled with higher firepower then i'm going to use that as well i will keep this build up to date for you guys and even in the event that i change anything or if a patch does change the dps output i'll make sure i make an updated video and that, my friends, brings us to the end of the video. If you need a place to play Outriders, come and join the Everything Outriders Discord. Every platform is welcome. You can make new friends, get help with expeditions like Challenge Tier 14, 15, and Eye of the Storm, get detailed information such as data mines, patch notes, lore, and a look at all the legendaries in the game as well. We are over 265 members, and it's growing every day. So come and join us. A link to the Discord will be in the description box below, and I will see you guys in the next one. Hey, hey you, watch these videos too. I know you like them. Go, 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 go.